Hello, my name is William and in this video we will be looking at how to answer area questions. During the video you can pause at any moment to have a go at the question yourself before I give you the method. Let's begin. This is a plan of a room. What area of carpet will be needed? With a weird shape like this it's good to cut it up into two rectangles. So let's draw a line here. To work out the area of the big one, we do length times width, 2.5 times 6. A nice way to do this is 6 times 2 equals 12, then we do 6 times a half, which is the same as saying half of 6 equals 3, then we add it up, 12 plus 3 equals 15. The top bit, notice it says 3.5, but on the left it says 2.5, therefore the top bit is just 3.5 minus 2.5 equals 1. In fact, the top bit is a square, and the area of this is length times width, 1 times 1 equals 1. We have 15 for the big rectangle, we have 1 for the small square, 15 plus 1 equals 16 meters squared. The other way is to draw a dotted line and work out the bit that they took off. We could do 6 times 3.5. This is 6 times 3 equals 18, 6 times a half equals 3, 18 plus 3 equals 21. Then we take off the top bit. How long is this? It is 6 minus 1 equals 5. So it's 5 times 1 equals 5, and then we do it. And we get the same answer, 21 minus 5 equals 16. The blanket on the right has been made from equally sized blue and white patches. What is the total area of the 20 white patches? It says 160 as the length. But how many blue rectangles are there? Just count it up. There are 8 blue rectangles going along. So 8 of them equals 160. So 1 of them is equal to 160 divide 8 equals 20. 96 is the width. But how many are going down? It is also 8. 8 blue equals 96, so 1 blue is equal to 96 divided 8 equals 12. We have worked out the length and width for the blue rectangle. It is 20 as the length and width is 12, so what's the area? Length times width equals 20 times 12 equals 240. But from the picture, what can we say about the blue and the white? They are the same. So one area equals 240, so 20 white patches equals 240 times 20. A nice way to do this is 24 times 2 equals 48. Then we have times 10 times 10. 48 times 100 equals 4,800 centimeter squared. Victor wants to paint a rectangular wall which is 2.5 meters high and 10 meters wide. Each tin of paint will cover an area of 7.5 meters squared. How many tins will she need to buy? In the question, there is an area for the tin of paint, so let's just work out the area for the wall. 2.5 times 10 equals 25. Now we need to work out how many tins will fit into the wall. So what is this division? So let's just go up 7.5. What's next? 15. And then 15 plus 7.5 equals what? It is 22.5. But we have 25 as an area for the wall. So how many tins do we need to buy? 3 or 4? The answer is 4. Because 7.5 times 4 equals 30. That is higher than 25, but we need to paint the whole wall. So we need to buy 4 tins. At a party, two rectangular tables are put together to form a T-shape. What is the total area of the two tables? Give your answer in meter squared or centimeter squared. We see from this rectangle, it's 220 centimeter and 100 centimeter. What's the area? 220 times 100 equals 22,000 equals 22,000 centimeter squared. But there's another one, so let's just double it. 44,000 centimeters squared. Now how do we go from centimeters squared to meter squared? It's not divided by 100. It's divided by 100, then divide by 100 again. 44,000 divided by 100. What is that? 
440 and then you divide by 100 again which is 4.4 notice 1 meter equals 100 centimeter but 1 meter squared equals 100 centimeter all squared because we've squared both sides we're doing the same thing to both sides 1 meter squared is equal to 100 times 100 which is equal to 10,000 centimeters squared that's why we divide by 100 then 100 again because that is the same as dividing by 10,000 therefore the answer is 4.4 meters squared Jason has an L-shaped sofa. The view from above the sofa is shown here. What is the perimeter of Jason's sofa? From this L-shape, a nice way to do the perimeter, we put this side up and then the 2 meter side across. When we do this, the perimeter is the same as a rectangle. We have 4 on the bottom but also 4 on the top. We have three and a half on the right, but three and a half on the left as well. We work out the perimeter of this, and then we've done it. Four plus four is eight. Three and a half plus three and a half is seven. Eight plus seven equals 15 meters. What is the area of the floor taken up by Jason so far? Draw a line across. We're splitting it up into two rectangles. Area of the bottom rectangle, 1.5 times 4 equals 6 meters squared. Area of the top smaller rectangle, 2 times 1.5 equals 3. Add it up, 6 plus 3 equals 9 meters squared. A drawer for a plastic cabinet is made from 5 pieces of plastic. The base of the drawer is a square 30 centimeters wide. The other pieces are the size of the drawer. These are rectangles. 10 centimeters high and 30 centimeters long. What is the total area of plastic used in the drawer? Is this difficult to picture for you? Maybe. But you don't have to picture it because you know there are five pieces and they've given you each piece. The first piece is a square 30 centimeters wide. What is the area of this? But it's a square, so length is the same as width, so 30 times 30 equals 900 centimeters squared. The other pieces they've given you. It's a rectangle, 10 times 30, which is 300. But how many of these are there? But at the start, they told you there are five pieces. One piece is already the square at the bottom, so there are four pieces left. Notice one area is equal to 300 centimeters squared, so four areas equals 300 times 4, which is 1,200, which is 1,200. So this plus 900 is the answer, equals 2,100 centimeters squared. Diagram below shows a picture frame hanging on a wall. The frame is 2 centimeters wide all the way round the glass. What is the perimeter of the outside of the frame? We have 36 going along but they've told you it's two centimeters wide on the left and the right. So all the way along is 36 plus two plus two equals 40 centimeters. 21 centimeters is going up, but we've got two centimeters at the top and the bottom. So we have 21 plus two plus two equals 25. Along we have 40 and 40. Going down we have 25 and 25. The perimeter for this whole thing, add it all up. 40 plus 40 equals 80. 25 plus 25 is 50. 80 plus 50 equals 130. What is the area of the frame? Firstly, let's work out the area of the whole thing, the frame and the glass. From the previous part, we had 40 and 25, so let's times this together. 25 times 40 equals 1,000. Now let's work out the area of the glass, 36 times 21. Pause the video, do it yourself, or I'll give you five seconds. Thirty-six times twenty is seven hundred and twenty. Plus thirty-six times one equals thirty-six. Add it together, seven hundred and fifty-six. Now to get the frame we do one thousand minus seven hundred and fifty-six, and here is the answer. Hugh is buying carpet for his L-shaped living room, shown below. He chooses carpet costing £15 per 1 meter squared. What's the total cost of his carpet? 
We have this L shape again. We always break it up into two rectangles. Just draw a line going across. Let's work out the bottom rectangle's area. 6 times 3 equals 18 meters squared. Let's work out the top rectangle. But what's the height and the width? Notice 5 meters is the total height, but we have 3 meters on the left. So the height of this is 2 meters. Going along, the full distance is 6 meters. Just going along most of the way is 4.5 meters. So this bit is 6 minus 4.5 equals 1.5. Therefore, the area is 2 times 1.5 equals 3 meters squared. Altogether, 18 plus 3 equals 21 meters squared. But from the first line, 1 meter squared equals 15 pound. So to work out 21 meters squared, notice we're going from 1 meter squared to 21 meters squared. We're getting bigger, so we have to times 21 times 15. Pause the video, do it yourself, or I'll give you 5 seconds. Twenty-one times fifteen, a great way to break it down is twenty-one times ten equals two hundred and ten. Twenty-one times five equals hundred and five. Add it together. Three hundred and fifteen pounds. If you enjoyed this video, why not like it and subscribe to the channel at the same time?